Gators want offense. They should get it with their new head coach, Jim McElwain, who turned a downtrodden Colorado State program into one of the most prolific scoring machines in the nation. In his second season, the Rams went from 100th nationally in total offense to 22nd. This year, they ranked 13th overall. Let's welcome in Florida's new head coach, Jim McElwain, here to Sports Center. Good morning, Jim. Thanks for joining us today. Well, I appreciate it. You guys doing all right today? We're doing great today. Uh, it's Good. a wonderful day in college football today. Here yeah, are the you Gators know what? fans. This, this is one of those fun days. There's this no doubt about it. Anytime you get to these championship games, it's really what it's all about. Yeah, unprecedented day as well as we get set to see what the selection committee thinks tomorrow about all of these results today. So here are the Gators fans. All they're concerned about right now is when are you going to start winning games and when is this team going to start <laughs> scoring points again? So what is it like to come into a situation where results are expected immediately? Well, you know what? I kind of like that. And and uh, I've been pretty fortunate to be some pretty good places and places that, you know, the expectations are there. And really, as we kind of go through life, that's, that's really what you want. And uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. You know, Coach Muschamp did an outstanding job here and, and assembled some you know, good players and, and good people within the organization. And you know what? We're, we're just going to follow through on that and, and keep rolling forward. Let, let's put the uh, the exit plan quickly behind us here because we followed the buyout situation closely <laughs> with you. And, and the end result was a game that's going to be played between the two schools and a financial arrangement between the two schools. Sure. How close was that to actually derailing the deal to get you to Florida? Well, you know, I... That's one of those things, you know, as a, as a ball coach, I, I couldn't really tell you, you know, the, a lot of those things are behind the scenes. And yet, you know what, the trust we have in the administration here, Jeremy, obviously, uh, Dr. Matchin is, is something that, you know what, uh, I got total trust in, in whatever it is and, and great people and really excited to get going. Yeah, and then they got it. You wanted to be there. They wanted you there. They got the deal done, and now you're there. And, and and so you know the SEC, and we know this about you. You were part of the success at Alabama a few years back, and now here you are competing directly with them. What do they do that you would like to bring to Gainesville with you? Well, you know, that's part of this, you know, as, as we go through the process of trying to figure out the infrastructure of the organization, all the things that go into that. And, you know, really for me right now, it's first and foremost, it's been, you know, recruiting from the time that, that we took this job and moving forward next week, being able to get as many places as we can possible. And then, you know, over time, you know, when you build that infrastructure is something that I've got to go ahead and interview and talk with everybody within the organization, kind of find out where it's structured and how it's structured. And then you know, put the resources in the spots we need to, and, and that's going to be an evolution over time. Oh, I want to get your thoughts a little bit on what's happening today. We mentioned that it is an amazing day here in, in the yeah. sport. Let's say Alabama loses today. Missouri's a very good football team. How would you feel about the first playoff that did not have an SEC representative in it? Well, I, I know this, you know, having been through this league, all right, uh, guys are going to beat each other up in this league and, and yet the best football in the country is played right here in the sec and and uh you know that that would be a shame and yet you know what the, the the playoff is something whether you're a traditionalist or not it's something the fans wanted so this is the opportunity to kind of head towards where the fans you know want college football to be and and uh, I'd, i would say this uh That'd be a travesty. Yeah, should the SEC be in no matter what, no matter what happens today, that there should be a representative of that conference based on what they've done this season? You know, the, the strength of this league, and I just go back, and yet, you know what, uh, we're not the ones deciding it, so, uh, you know, we kind of got to stay out of that. But at the same time, uh, having been in this league for four years and knowing what you have to do day in and day out against every program uh, in the conference, is, uh, that ain't easy. And let's get you back to your team as we, as we are, our time is short here. The Gators fans have been begging for offense. What mm -hmm. can you say to them about what the future of Florida football will be like and look like? Well, I think, you know, th that's one of those things where, you know, we believe in explosive plays. We believe in, in trying to stay balanced and then trying to figure out exactly what the defense is trying to take from you and then take the other thing. And, and uh, you know, it all starts with, uh, you know, getting a system in place, uh, it's a fun system. It's it's a great system to play in. Uh, there's a lot of multiple shifts and formations and a lot of things that, you know, forces people to maybe, uh, you know, balance out a little bit. And, and uh, I'm just looking forward to, you know, getting out there and, and getting the opportunity uh, 
to kind of get this juggernaut back on track. And all of us fans are looking forward to see the swamp to start rocking again. We're, yeah. we're looking forward to that, seeing that as well next year. Jim McElwain joining us here on Sports Center. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it and enjoy this day of college football.